opening this week, brought to you by our friends over at AMC. Natasha, what's coming out this week? Coming out this week is The Witch. In 1630 New England, panic and despair envelops a farmer played by Ralph Ineson, his wife played by Kate Dickey, and four of their children where their youngest son Samuel suddenly vanishes. The family blames Thomason played by Anya Taylor-Joy, the oldest daughter who was watching the boy at the time of his disappearance. With suspicion and paranoia mounting, twin siblings Mercy played by Ellie Granger and Jonas played by Lucas Dawson suspect Thomason of witchcraft testing the clan's faith, loyalty, and love to one another. It is written and directed by Robert Eggers. Clark, should audiences be looking forward to The Witch? So, yes, audiences should be looking forward to The Witch. However, audiences, you need to know something about The Witch. I don't know where my camera is, so I'm mm. sorry for all the whatever. But um, The Witch is a real movie. So when um, Stephen King, you know, just reviewed the film, thank you, Stephen King just reviewed the film and, uh, and said, you know, yes, this movie scared the hell out of me, but it's a real movie, he's right. This is not a horror movie in the way you think of horror movies. This is a drama, it's a period drama. It, they speak in old English. Um, you know, there is a sense of terror and dread and danger throughout the whole film, but pitching it as a horror movie, which it is. Pun intended. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed, <laughs> indeed. Uh, but but that that's a very tricky thing, I think, with audience, managing audiences' expectations. You know, we saw a similar thing with The Babadook. When The Babadook finally came out, you know, William Friedkin had said, oh, it's the scariest movie I've ever seen. Now, I love The Babadook, and I think it's an incredible film. But I think for audiences showing up, you know, thinking, oh, this is going to be the scariest movie I've ever seen, and then getting a psychological drama yeah. um, about about, about a mother losing her mind, that might not have been exactly what they thought. So The Witch is a great film, and Robert Eggers won Best Director at Sundance last year for a reason. Um, I just, and it will scare you, I think. I just want to manage audience expectations. Uh, I think that, because I saw the movie two days ago, and I will say that this movie is a really good film. It's a really good film, and I think that horror, fam horror fans will enjoy it for sure, and I think for the reasons that you're saying, actually, because I don't think that they're Expectations are going to be lowered if you don't get those jump scares mm -hmm. and the and the gratuitous violence just to have blood and gore. It's not that kind of movie. Those things, the jump scares don't happen, but there's there's some blood and stuff too. But when it happens, it certainly happens for a reason. But what I'll say is the other thing that sometimes that horror movies do because they they're easy to turn a profit because mm -hmm. you can. They, one of the reasons I don't like them is because a lot of times they're lazy and you make them for like six million dollars and if they make. $10 million, yay, we've made our money right. back and the audience got screwed. <laughs> this movie is a very low budget film. Mm -hmm. It does has no actors that you know. It probably cost a nickel and a Snickers bar to make. <laughs> um, but it delivers because these actors can act. They act. They absolutely deliver on their dialogue. They make me believe all that old English. It's not just like people, oh, well, they wanted them to talk like this and, and that kid's having a problem. I felt like I was watching all these kids. Mm -hmm. That being said, I'm not the biggest horror guy. So I felt like the end was a little kind of cliched and, and I was kind of hoping for a better ending. But I'm just not the horror guy. I'm just like, for me, when I go and see a horror movie, I'm just, you really, like, The Conjuring was a movie to me that really won me over. Um, this movie, again, I think horror fa fans will love. And if you are a horror fan, you should go out and see this film. I just don't know if it's going to win over. You and I are not horror guys. No. So I don't know if I'd say to you, like, you've got to spend your money on this because it's going to win you over and make you a horror But you know You'll what? You'll appreciate I, the filmmaking. Well, I don't think anything's ever going to win me over and make me a horror right. fan. However... I'm really looking forward to this, and what Clark's saying to me actually makes me even more excited right. about this because this is this is the kind of horror that I like, where it's psychological, mm -hmm. it's creepy. Just from the trailers, you can tell it's dripping with atmosphere. Yeah. That's what I want to see. I want to see the scariest thing is is what happens to people psychologically versus you know blood and guts. And right. You're talking yeah, about no, jump no. scares and yeah. all that mm -hmm. stuff. That's that. why I don't watch. A lot of horror movies. Right. So this, what you're telling me, mm -hmm. you're selling me on it. All right. Good. And that's coming out this weekend. So go to AMC Theaters and go check that out. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.